hello. Welcome. War is war. We got a railroad gun. So let's bring it down to the uh, battlefield. Shall we? So if we bring it like right here. Two days? Oh my. If we bring it there, we can have it be really defended and all that. Down here, moves have been made by Vic. He's doing good. We're making units, we're producing units, we're staying happy. We are happy. So right now, I'm just increasing my um, barracks and all that. I do have a new hope that we can win this. So it's my feelings on the way in this match is very push and pull. Like, considering we haven't really gotten pushed, like, barely at all, I'm actually way more optimistic now. And when that just maybe, our fruitless struggle is actually more full of fruit. Let's get level 3 fortress up and hope he doesn't attack before it's done. But yeah, right now, we're defending at mm, 60%? Wow. So we have more tanks on the way. I think at least one more, right? Over here is where I'll start making uh, more tanks. I want cavalry up. I want cars up. I want all of them up. Especially cavalry, though. Uh, let's mess with this real quick. Uh, resources. I want to put more towards grainage than fish right now. I also like how if you do this, it also converts a flat amount to um, the other sometimes. I don't know why it does that, but that's yeah, a thing. Yeah, but by doing this, so we'll be earning more green. A little bit less fish, but we'll still be earning. I think for um, oil, I'm going to cut it back. I'm going to cut this back too. Alright, let's do this. Because I don't need as much gas, admittedly. Let's cut this back. So, coal supplements oil and gas does too. So, oil. Oil is oily. Because I want to be earning more of this. Let's raise this to a higher percentage. Actually, I can't be bringing in that much oil, so I'll cut this back a little bit. Make it take on some of the burden. Right. As long as I'm not losing like too much a day, like if I'm slowly gaining, I'll be fine. So yeah, we should be making it. Yeah, we're making like four times the gas now. Well, not gas, but the uh, oil. Now I'm making a lot more oil an hour. That should be dandy. So problems administration, I want to keep making cavalry. That's the uh, plan right now. Just pure cavalry. That's right now. Making them is really important to me. Especially if we can crank them out like every five hours. Because then we can have like an unstoppable machine of it. Let's look at espionage. I've not been using my spies as much. But I still want to make sure that they're uh, still doing their job. Because I don't think I even checked yesterday. So grain for iron, so they're still trading and stuff. Alright. Uh, so, so how good are you? Also, so I'm doing the same thing, putting the bots on your north, left. I think uh, I'm on right for a new player. Century United. North left, so top left. So he's sparing Germany United. That's Mississippi. Yeah, so Mississippi fell on a surprise attack, so I uh, he uh, surrendered essentially. I won't hate on him for that. At least he tried. For those of my allies try, yeah, but they can always live the fight another day. Also, M H R right now for new player. I don't know what that is. I think a new army. I don't. I don't know what M, I don't know what MH means. Oh, well. let's see here. All right. 
up here we're making uh should be another ship i believe which we moved out at this point i wonder if he hasn't moved a ship in because he doesn't know what i have that'd make a lot of sense we need a level three factory for that okay uh up here i think i i should be able to make a plane eventually because i know i've been trying to work on that and what do I need to make? I think like 10,000 oil for a railgun, right? Yeah, that's a lot. But I can make heavy tanks, though. How much money do I need to keep? I need to keep 14,000. So if I can get a lot of oil right now, that'd be nice. And I can sell some of my gas, too. Let's do this. All right. There we go. But yeah, right now the uh, oil is really important, though. I want to start getting some heavy tanks churned out. So let's see. So I think we're like, what, three hours out from the day change? Let's see. Yeah, about four. So I'll be able to make um, 20,000, which we'll have to pay for the spies. I'll just need to self. Uh, let's sell some of our wood. Bam. There we go. That should be more than enough now. Also, I should probably be looking at any place that doesn't have a railroad and then uh, giving it one. I think that's what I'm going to do at this point. So where... Oh, here we go. Railway. So I can just see who has and who doesn't. At least the majority do. Wow. We got food and coal over here. That ain't going to be enough. I need more steel, I believe, for a railway. Yeah, and a lot more money, too. But I can I can foot the bill though. I just gotta sell off a lot of my wood. Like my wood production is insane, so I might cut back on that. Honestly, just to make up more steel because steel's really important and all that. All right. Ooh, this is 10k right here. So I'm gonna do sell off all this. Mm. Glorious, truly. I'll buy 5,000 steel. Now, to do what I said I was going to do and make a set steel, I think I had lumber using less too as a result. You know, just a little bit, but I'll have them use way more. So that way it's a little bit more equalized. There we go. Now, of course, I could probably do a little bit more, but I still want to be out putting more lumber than steel. Personally. So this is still sorted by railway. That's That's been the scene. Wow, this is actually nice. So in this game, it actually keeps the buildings highlighted if you leave the menu. I don't even think Iron Order does that. Now we can make the railways. Let's do it. Wow, that's just enough steel too. Nice. So yeah, once these are done, we'll get more grain, we'll get more oil, more food. And we have the rest of these to worry about too. But yeah, now five of these places are making... Um, Railways. I don't really know which ones. Honestly, it could be any area around here. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it was like up here. Yeah. Also, over here, this has been like losing morale, and it, then they they seed to me. Like they come to my side. I've not fired a single bullet, and I'm capturing land from these guys consistently, which makes me really happy. All right, now let me just cut over like this. Grab all these guys. I should probably build railroads here for Vic. I should really do that. Um, let's bring these guys down here. Because thing is, these guys will win in a war like this. We're winning the defensive game right now. Yeah. Okay, there's a railroad being made here. So hey, at least Vic's gonna have that advantage when it's done. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I know we need a lot of oil. I should've been focusing more on oil, but that's my mistake, is I've not been doing that, even though like everything I'm making requires it. Shortfalls of an army right there. Um, but yeah, these areas will get railroaded up. Every area will have railroads. 
but yeah. At least with all these built, it also makes when units move faster and produce more resources, so it's not only for the railgun. But yeah, getting this here, I mean, it'll be a big help. It probably won't do too much damage, admittedly, but the range plus the damage and the fact that we might have airplanes up by the time that um, rolls out. I think it's worth it. So province administrations over here. Let's look at Aerodome now. So that way we can see. Can I get a plane up? Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Over here is where I'd be able to do it. Right? If I went for a fighter, could I do it? Why not? Because something is already being produced. Stop the cavalry. Put on the brakes. I want to make a fighter. So we need 5,000 oil, 